Alright, so again, another recipe, right? But we're making mashed potatoes, okay? This is hot. I'm not going to get all out of control with it. But here it is. Let me see if I can lean it so you can see it. Mashed potatoes. See how I made it. Try it for yourself and enjoy. You're going to love this. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Okay, so for the potatoes, I've already washed them. Even though I'm peeling them, I still like to wash them anyway, right? Get these all peeled, and we'll slice them up. And we want to make sure that when we slice them up, they're relatively the same size so they cook even, right? That's what you want, okay? So let me go through these real quick and then we can get to the next step of cutting them up okay and I'm putting them into a bowl that has water and lemon juice in it okay again the reason why I do that is the lemon juice will stop your your potatoes from turning brown right after you peel them you know nobody wants your know, brown potatoes right you want your potatoes to be, you know, white and vibrant, right? So the acid in the lemon juice will do that for you. Okay, so let me get this done. And when you're peeling your potatoes, definitely watch out for your fingers, your skin, right? You don't want to have a bad day. Which, believe it or not, it's really easy to do when you're peeling potatoes if you're not careful okay so definitely be careful and now while I'm doing this I have on the stove some water that I'm going to be putting potatoes in okay and I'll be seasoning that water so that water will be good to go okay now the thing about potatoes they're tubers right so since they're tubers you want they come out of the ground so you want to start them off in cold water right and then bring them up to the boil that's how you have the best results so if you remember that you'll be good to go off here into the lemon water then this guy now if you clean your potato you don't have to peel them right it's just that in this case the way I'm doing the mashed potatoes I don't want the skins you know normally I use the skins but in this case I'm not okay I might leave a few skin fragments but generally I don't okay so at this point we're gonna cut our potatoes up right cut it in half and half again long ways right and make slices and put them back in the lemon water right and you want to make sure that you get them all about the same size okay so when one's done they're all done right so they'll get done at about the same time and that's what you want. You know, if you see any imperfections in your potatoes that you don't like, cut them out, right? Like this guy. See that? Then nobody wants that. So I'm going to sit him to the side real quick. And I'm going to see what I can do with that. Yep, cut this guy all the way off. See that? We don't want that. 
And you don't have to settle for that. Get rid of that. I'm pretty sure you have more potato that you can utilize. So that part won't be missed at all. Nobody would ever know. Yep, get all these guys in. I'm only making a small batch of mashed potatoes right now. Normally I would make a bigger batch, but you know, a couple people in the peanut gallery are not filling up to it, so I don't have to make as much. Okay, I'm going to take these and put these into the pot. All right, so I got this pot on here. That's how to add our potatoes. And we're going to boil these off. We're going to saw for about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll check it for tenderness. All right before we mash them. Let's get all these guys in here. Now, even though I added lemon juice to the water as I was cutting them, your potatoes are not going to taste like lemon, so don't worry about that. All that does is see how white they are? It stopped them from turning brown. That's all it did. Okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so the potatoes have been growing pretty good here. They're just about ready to be mashed. Probably give them a few more minutes. And then we'll be mashing them up. And we're going to use butter and milk. Alright, so these potatoes are done. We're going to turn off the heat. And let's strain these guys so we can start mashing them up. So let me get these strained. Okay, so our potatoes have been strained. What we want to do, we got kosher salt. And a little bit of kosher salt to it to taste. I would say probably about a teaspoon. Right? And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of pepper. Right? And again, this is to taste. If you like more pepper, add more pepper, right? If you like more salt, add more salt. Okay, and what I'm also going to add is an entire stick of butter. Right? Don't come for me. This is how I like it. And I'm going to start off with about a half a cup maybe three quarters of a cup of milk okay now let's get this mashed with my potato masher right i'm not doing anything all crazy but i'm going to mash this up let's get everything mashed mash and stir mash and stir yeah, my grandma taught me that. Mash and stir. Don't just mash. Mash it and stir it. Right? Get it good and mashed. And if you cooked it properly, it won't take you long at all to mash it. Now you could put this in a blender, and you may or may not have seen me do that. But what happens when you put it in the blender, it gets gummy, right? It tightens up on you. Now some people like their gumminess. Now when I think about gummy mashed potatoes, I think about KFC, right? Because them joints is pretty gummy. But I like it. Alright. Let me get my uh, spoon and whisk this up some more. Alright, got the wooden spoon. Let's mix this up. Look how creamy that is. Is that nice or what? And that's what you want. Good to go. Now let's get this out of the way. This is good. 
right? So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Here are my mashed potatoes, okay? This is how I do it. It's pretty basic, right? But this is all you need. Sometimes you got to go to the basics to get the best results. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. The straw straw, and I'm out.